What's going on guys, Killer6 back with another legendary item guide slash rare enemy spawn video for you and in this combo vid I'm going to show you guys how to get the masterwork crossbow which is a legendary sniper in Borderlands 3 but I'm also going to show you who drops it and his name is Orist McEnforcer. Now, near as I can tell, this is just a play on the meme of how every dwarf in World of Warcraft is named Orist and it's like Mick whatever they do. So in this guy's case, he's an enforcer. So it's Orist McEnforcer. Now, starting from the spawn point, this is where you need to go. There's basically this area where there's a couple ramps down and takes you down into the subway. You will be going underground for this and he will spawn right here. Now, if this place looks familiar to you, it's because we went here to farm one punch who dropped the one pump chump in a previous rare enemy spawn video now if you get lucky and he drops you this thing this is the masterwork crossbow the red text on this says all crafts dwarf ship is of the highest quality i believe that is a reference to just again the world of warcraft stuff however it might also be a um a play on peter dinklage's character from avengers infinity war and how he did the uh, the craftsmanship for Thor. I don't have a clue, honestly. You guys let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think. So what does this gun do? This thing shoots out one bolt uh, crossbow style. So you get one shot every time you pull the trigger uh, and it shoots out a crossbow looking thing. It's more, it, actually if you shoot it and you uh, go into photo mode, it looks like a dart actually, but when it sticks out of enemies, it does look like a crossbow from the end. Uh, you do want to aim a little high on this thing because it does have uh, drop off as you can see right there It drops down, but is this gun worth getting honestly not really? It's not my favorite of the snipers in the game you get one shot and You have to account for drop off and uh, It's honestly not that good in my opinion So this is the spot where if you go across the map you can hit this area right here and you'll trigger that save station back there which will speed up your farm because then you just have to go around this pathway here and if you kill an enemy like if you're zane and you have a kill skill that gives you some speed you know go ahead and pop that and get you going through here faster and you just go down those stairs around this subway car and then if you're lucky he'll spawn here he doesn't spawn every single time so bear that in mind now you might get lucky and get this to spawn up as a bounty board challenge in sanctuary if so then you know use that to your advantage because he will spawn guaranteed when you have that as the bounty now the problem with that is once you do the bounty he goes back to being a rare enemy so if you are tricky enough and know how to do it you can set your game to read only and just farm that mission over and over until he does drop you the item that you want so if this guide was helpful to you, if it was, please take a second and hit that like button. Hit subscribe for more. Tap the bell icon to be notified when I post a new video. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.